Mickey and you're watching what I'm doing right now. Today's a big day for politics. We got South Carolina voting. Polls close in almost uh, four hours. The Nevada caucus is going on today. Apparently Clinton hopes her Nevada firewall will hold. 12% reporting. Hillary Clinton, 50%. Bernie Sanders, 49.6%. This race is hilarious. Ha 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 ha. Wait, what'd you say? Ha 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 ha. We're about to film, not to, we're not gonna film, we're about to audioly record a uh, perk for Project for Awesome, the uh, commentary for The Fifth Element. Kitty, you have batteries. And why, it seems like bad design to like just have the key as part of your finger. I... If he can kill people with his eyes, he should be able to open the door. With his eyes. Without his his finger key. That seems like a very primitive technology. Well, we oh, finished okay. doing the fifth element thing. Pee. He has to pee. Clinton defeats Sanders in Nevada. Whoa, guys, Jeb Bush suspending his presidential campaign. No, he was the number one Republican candidate <laughs> that I would have voted for. <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't have voted for him anyways, though. For Stefan, Glenn, and me, Jeb was the top uh, Republican out of that group on our I Side With results. The most rational one out of them got booted out of the race. It's almost midnight. It's like three minutes until midnight. This is the first time I've left the house all day. This has been glorious. And where are we going? Burger King. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Burger King of the day. I'll be with you in just a moment. Thanks. You may have noticed that my uh, carb-free Lent thing didn't last very long. My battery died while I was walking to school and then it took forever for me to get around to charging it after I got back to work. So, some stuff happened, and now we're here. I am uploading a video. It's the one where I got the, uh, the C-mount to Micro Four Thirds adapter, tried out some lenses. This video showcased how there's either something wrong with the way I have the microphone on the Blackmagic setup, or it's just bad at recording audio. There's a lot of extra noise and there's a lot of, there's a lot of noise reduction going on on that video and you can kind of hear it. It sounds sort of like trickly or burbly in the background, but it's better than the alternative. I, I just... get to try that microphone on the iPhone, which is what I initially bought it for, but I wonder if it would make any difference on a different device. Yeah, I don't know something. if it's the microphone, I don't know if it's the camera, I don't know if it's a setting on the camera. I thought that I turned the, uh, the volume up on that microphone, but it was super quiet in here. But the workday is done. It's time to go home. Okay, here's the schedule for today. Emails and such, almost done. In a few minutes, I have a check-in with Crash Course stuff. Lunch, working on SciShow Kids, doing a SciShow shoot, working on more SciShow Kids. We have a Crash Course meeting at four o'clock, and then uh, vlog stuff after that. In the evening time, we have a secret thing, and then uh, Skype meetings, and a couple hours of jogging. This Crash Course check-in thing was just uh, to have my manager, Nick, ask me how I'm feeling about my job, let me talk about any pain points that I have. He asked if there was anything he could do to do his job better. He just wanna check in. That's why it's called a check-in. But now that's over and it's time for Pita Pit. For Pita Pit. About to film some SciShow news. So, you know, you turn the microphone on. Put the thing in my pocket. Get this little microphone, put it on me. Boom! Mm. Can I 
lock this one handed. Wait. Wait. The problem is that this door doesn't stay shut. So you gotta, you gotta. Yeah! I need to go that way. That is the way that I need to go, to go home. But the road is closed. The F, what the F-250. Hey, look at that. That's I don't know what that bus. is, but it's a thing. It's a fancy bus. It's time for a salad. A double chicken salad. I'm restocking my ginger beers. Which have cost us millions of dollars. What I am fighting for right now is a political revolution. This town hall with Bernie Sanders, I think, was... Uh, it had some of the most humanizing moments that I've seen so far. Just when uh, he was sitting down talking about his... Uh, personal faith in humanity. I think overall it just makes me like this format of town halls much better than a debate. I feel like it's easier to see who the candidates are when they have time to be thoughtful with their answers rather than trying to make sure that they squeeze the proper sound bites into the small amount of time that they're given by the, the debate moderators. Sanders was up first, Clinton is about to come on, um, and I would like to watch that, but we're about to do our uh, weekly company meeting, so maybe I'll catch it if it ends up on YouTube afterwards? I don't know, CNN's hosting the thing, I don't know if they're gonna post it on their website afterward or not. So Todd is here now. Hey everybody! Todd, tell us about your trip. Oh boy, it was exciting. I was in Las Vegas, I was in Salt Lake City, and now I'm in Missoula. Nice. Wow. My hope is that while Todd's here, we're able to go look at some office space tomorrow then i will call places and get things set up for that i guess tours yeah. and mr mr michael morgan he is going to be in town starting tomorrow correct yeah tomorrow night is late i mean uh, the flight that i usually take gets there on paper at midnight so but. on friday in the evening we're going to have a dinner at cafe dolce which is going to be like my birthday dinner slash pre-meeting dinner. Kyla, <laughs> what's up with what I'm doing right now this week? Well, compared to last week, things are doing a lot better because you uploaded more than one video. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the burn. <laughs> However, you uh, did lose subscribers. <laughs> ah. so that's what happens when you upload videos. Uh, yeah, so, you know, watch time is back up. View duration is back up, views are up, likes are up, dislikes are actually down though, so that's good. Down 58 subscribers, we lost 151 wow. people, but gained 63. It's still, I mean I say this every time, but it boggles my mind that there is that much churn. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I'm uploading videos that are substantially different than a year ago, so like why are so many people still being like, what? What is this? Maybe, <laughs> I'm out of here. Maybe they decide they don't want a daily experience. And maybe they were just like ignoring it for a while in their subscription box and then just finally decided to just unsubscribe. But I, I've, I've, I've been wondering this before. like since 2014 when I started the daily <laughs> vlog. I was like, I'm starting a daily vlog. A lot of people are going to be like, I didn't sign up for this and they're going to bail. And since then, it's just been this continuous thing. At some point, I, I imagine I will hit peak bailage when everybody who doesn't want this content finally realizes that they don't want this content and leaves. Good. Okay. Then I'm gonna say that's the end of the thing. Well, it's cool to see, see you all very soon. Yeah. And in fact, I may even see you tomorrow. Woo! Thank you, everybody. Have a good Tuesday evening. It's been real. Bye, Glenn! Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye. It is now 2.27. I just spent many hours working on a thing that as of today I still can't tell you guys about. We are, what, five days away from me being able to say anything. I'm unclear about whether or not this video will be live before or after that, which is why I'm still not saying anything. On my calendar, I originally had going to the gym and jogging scheduled in here, but the secret thing 
uh, ended up taking way longer than I expected. So no jogging today. And looking at tomorrow's schedule, I'm probably gonna end up doing homework in the evening, not having time to run. So this makes me sad because, you know, I'm falling further and further behind on this goal of running 2016 miles in 2016. And even outside of that goal, I wanna make sure that my legs are being used continuously so they don't lose any, you know, muscle or general endurance that they've built up so far this year. Because I think right now it's it's been a while since I ran. A week? I don't remember. Mm -hmm.